Um, you brought up to me the Cleveland situation. This is, we're swapping over to Major League Baseball now. The Cleveland Guardians found themselves in a bit of an issue due to the team name. Apparently, there was already a Cleveland Guardians team, and they knew nothing about it. So what has happened that I have read, and I'll, I'll let you dive in here momentarily, but I read about the roller derby team that apparently did not have the name trademarked, but had like copyrights on it and all this. They put in a trademark for it July 27th. It's in the same time frame that the Cleveland Indians put in their U.S. trademark, but the Cleveland Indians put in their trademark, their initial trademark, in some island somewhere, like a, uh, an offshore spot. They put in their initial emergency trademark for the Cleveland Guardians name back on April 8th. So I think they're probably going to win this in court, but it has not been all peaches and everything. They were already going to deal with the backlash from the name change anyway. But now you've got a whole different subset of people that were like, wait, our, this roller derby team in Cleveland that's been here forever has had the Cleveland Guardians name for a long time. What the hell are y'all doing? Tell me tell me what you got going on here. <laughs> so I find I find this to be funny. What we're gonna we're gonna learn a little bit about the owners here and and about the people that are running the Indians. Or the Guardians. Well, yeah, they're, they're the Whatever Indians they right now. Yeah. I mean, this year, they're still the Indians, so yeah. I'm going to call them that. Okay. Their name is going to be changed. <laughs> Here, we're going to learn a little bit about them, and it's one of two things. Either, either somebody is very inept and an idiot, or someone is a just a huge asshole, okay, and they're just going to throw – money around and they're going to bully somebody out of something okay this is i think those are the only two options what what if they're both no i don't i don't think they're both by the way i don't think they're both um i don't know why maybe just my hope for mankind that you shouldn't be this stupid and evil well i, um, I, I look at it this way i think that they are going to uh bully this team around and they are going to take the guardian's name they are going to take the trademark because they've already made this huge presentation, they don't want to look like fools. Because the oh, majority of the public, the like, doesn't. They're going to get the name. I think the name's going to cost them something, though. Okay, I think it's going to cost them something. Now, I listened to a a a podcast put on by a guy named Mark Garagos. Mark Garagos is, you know, a big shot attorney. He, you know, he he defends a lot of hateful ass people that people hate, but yep. that's because he's yep. one of the best attorneys in the country. Um, and and he he has a podcast called Re- Reasonable Doubt, and they basically talk about the most interesting cases. He brought up these three options. All right. If you're the Indians and you're rich, and this is a men's roller derby league, which has to be nothing at all. Um, these are your three options. Your, your option a is to negotiate with the roller derby team and pay them some sort of money. So, so you're not fighting this in court because fighting this in court could hurt you. I think he thinks fighting it in court is would hurt their image to a point that while the financial assets you put out in the front are going to grossly be outweighed by the back end backlash that you're going to pay in the back end. Okay. You're going to lose so much goodwill beating up your billionaire and you're going to beat up on this little, little team. You're just going to steal something from. All right. Yeah. So, so your option is to pay, pay them directly for their name or, if you think there's any marketing possibilities whatsoever for about the same price that you could buy them off, depending on how hardball they play, you could just buy the roller derby league. <laughs> you just buy the league because the league can't be worth a lot of money, right? Right. Like what? Right. If, I, like and he didn't throw any numbers, but a, a ro- if if we get to seven figures now, you could just buy the league, right? Like if they if they want a million dollars, they want to split a million dollars. I don't know how many people own the the league uh, the the team and the team name, but you know, who would get the money is it can't be all the players. It could be just a few people that started the team, I guess. But depending on how hardball they play, just by the league or the best option for him would be, and then you force them to change their name or you allow them to keep the name. You both have the same name, but you get all the trade right stuff because you own the league. You can kind of do what you want with that. Yeah. And your last option is you can work out a sponsorship deal. Okay. This can't be a league that makes a lot of money. 
And so instead of me shelling out seven figures for this thing, let, let's work out a thing where I sponsor and support the league for a couple of years, try to help you guys generate fan base, money, revenue, whatever, to grow the league. I don't have to own the damn thing. I don't have to run or operate it. I'm not going to buy it and then dissolve it just so I can get the name. But I, I'll sponsor it. But in in my supporting this, if you really love roller derby and it means that much to you, you're going to give me the trademark to the name without me having to fight you in court for it. So I think those are some options. I, I think the last option would be the best for the team and the owner. I think all the other two are the best for the roller derby guys. Uh, but but maybe not. I mean, maybe not. There's, there might be enough people in Cleveland that if they play too hardball-ish, they all say, look, man, you're sitting on a lottery ticket, cash your damn lottery ticket, but don't be a dick, right? Yeah. Like, we, we just want this to end and don't embarrass the team. Don't embarrass the city any more than this. My question doesn't come into how they address it. My question comes into who writes that check. So let's say you're a billionaire owner of the Indians, okay? You know you're going through a name change. You didn't personally do this. You hired a marketing firm, you hired trademark lawyers, you hired all kinds of people, right? One of these sons of bitches didn't do a gig Google search to see, is this name already out there? And what do we need to do to either go get it before we release it or handle all of You could have still kept the Guardians even if you found it, but before you ever release it, you got to go find this, this team. It's easier to buy them off, you know, beforehand on the front end than it is on the back end. Right. It yes, yes. You you, you and I have had experience. Like, you make one of those departments write this check. I, I hired would. you to do a job, and you cock this up so bad. And that's, you're paying for yeah, this. That's what I would do. I would so, too. Somebody's oh, losing their job, or a be, lot of people are losing their job. But I'm making yeah. them pay the bill before they lose their job. Like I, you know, this is this is an insane thing. Or it was a thing where they saw they knew it. There was a. T- this is where you're going to find out evil or or idiot okay god that could be a segment on a damn talk show uh, <laughs> let me we, try we might that throw that in me. we might throw that in on tuesdays <laughs> you know, evil or idiot uh that's, 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 that's owned by us um <laughs> i'm writing it down I, right now <laughs> i want to like if they knew about the guardians and they saw it wasn't trademarked, and so they just went around went ahead filled all this paperwork out got it trademarked really fast and then released it, and then this whole thing came out, and they were like, well, we're just crushed these guys in court. We don't ever have to pay them dick. We don't care. That's a shitty way to go about it. Yes. Like, that's a real shitty way. Like, why would they have trademarked this name? They named themselves something that, like, they never thought anybody would ever name anything, but they got a website. They got a Twitter handle. Like, they got all this stuff, and they run this little-ass league. But come on, man. Like, this this a bunch of dudes that, that do roller derby, you're going to bully them? Like, that's a problem I'm going to have is, is if you're a moron and nobody did a Google search, people need to be fired. And and the people that need to be fired also need to pay a brunt of this deal. Like, I'm not paying this marketing bill that I hired you to do this job. Um, or I'm going to sue you for money back on it. But you can't bully the roller derby guys. You, yeah. you, just, you just can't. And if that was your plan all along, then you're a piece of shit. That's that's what I was saying. Can they be incompetent and evil at the same time? No, they, I don't, I don't I, think that. Well, I think I think incompetence led to this, and if they just push them over, then that kind of helps with the evil part, right? Like it, we we have experience with people that don't do Google searches for very simple things, right? Uh, so we we understand how frustrating that can be, and I can only imagine as the billionaire owner of a baseball team you hire a team to do one job and this is what ends up happening i i don't even know where to start with it i mean this this, is uh, yeah this is a burning people to the ground situation this is a if i have to buy the 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 marketing firm that does this that like did this and then fire all these people that's what i (laughs) like like i can't just fire the firm because then all these people that did this they still get to keep their jobs where they're at No, no 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 You've embarrassed me on a level where I'm buying your company and I'm shipping you all out. Like, just get out of here. This like, is the this Ari is, Gold thing in Entourage, right? Where he comes right. in with the paintball yeah, no, this, gun. <laughs> yeah, this this is a this is a gods to go situation, right? Oh no. God, this, I, this we is, need this to make those shirts. 
We need to make those uh, gots to go situation shirts. Like that's uh, yeah. Oh, you know, now I can't. I, we can't make that. That's a that is a Mike Wilbon thing. That's a Tony Kornheiser thing. Those two guys say that all the time. We we can't steal it and then make a shirt for it. You don't think we could put a WCE logo on that? You think they got that trademark? Oh, that's fine. I don't care. You've been now saying it. You've been saying it so much. Everything <laughs> everything else that we say that we've made shirts on, we've said, and I that's haven't true. heard anybody else say it. I like but the evil already. Steal evil something idiot. from somebody else. Ben, then I I feel a little immoral putting our trademark on it. Evil or idiot? I, I would like to. I, I'm definitely more idiot than evil. Um, I don't know. I'm an asshole, but I don't know that I'm evil. There's a difference. Well, no, I think it's I think it's fine. I think you're fine. Um, we have got a couple more topics to hit before we do our AFC yeah, East right. discussion. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.